attract massive sales, large sums of money by simply using these three items. Attract massive sales, large sums of money by adding these three items to your bath water. Is it spiritual bath and adding certain items to our bath water is very, very necessary because it is a form of spiritual bath and spiritual bed is one thing we cannot do with you because even Jesus himself encouraged somebody to have a spiritual bath. For example, in John 9 verse 3, after he cured that, that man that was blind, he asked him, what is he seeing? He said he's seeing a man like three. It means that his eyes is not yet cleared. And apparently Jesus used sand and his saliva, a form of natural, ordinary item converted to supernatural use to cure this particular man. The next thing Jesus told, told him to do is go to river asylum and bath. That is a form of spiritual bath to bath. There are certain ugly situations, there are certain problems we find in ourselves. For example, you're a business person, you suddenly discover that your sales are going down from selling small, smaller than the quantity you know myself before to not selling at all. And then you are always in lack. In the office, they will favor everybody. They will not favor you. You are always one word they are looking for money nobody ever favors you except if you sweat yourself in the name of work that is when you get what to eat your daily bread why some other people you know are being favored and giving extra things believe me it can also happen to you there are certain situations in your life that need bed that need work because faith with your work is dead so if only follow me to the end of today's video i'll tell you certain things you add to your bed water you bat out those rejection bat out poverty bat out hardship bat out low sales and anywhere you go in fact angels of god will be following you advertising your goods and bringing customers to you so welcome back to jenny action tv in this particular channel i discuss three important variables which are actually health, safety and spirituality believe me if you don't understand this story correctly in your life the sky will not be your limit if it comes to your starting point if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you're highly welcome please do wait to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that youtube will always notify you once i upload a new video for my returning subscribers i love you so much thank you for always stopping by please always give thumbs up to these videos share these videos and and comment on them as you do all this may god bless you so with the other child wasting your time let's delve right in the first item you actually need for this special spiritual bed is saint leave you see saint leave you have lots and lots of spiritual benefit if you go to the book of revelation 22 verse 2 the bible actually says that the leaves of the tree is for the healing of the nations both your financial healing emotional healing spiritual healing all around healing this saint leaf offers it even spiritual arrow in neutralize that even if it's arrow that somebody has shoot to you that is making you not to sell those arrows will be neutralized by god's grace and then the first thing you need is some scent quantity of scent leaf like this and then if you're not in nigeria and you cannot lay hand on scent leaf get basil leaf where you cannot find basil get mint leaf all of them have the same energy and they will give you the same result the second thing you actually need is adian fruit this adian fruit go to exodus chapter 30 34 it was one of the light spices that god commanded moses to burn so that he will be able to come down and speak with him so as to drive away every form of negative energy obstacles or hindrance that will make god not to appear the, the way he's supposed to appear to moses so one thing this does is that it drives away every form of negative energies it makes sure that no no witchcraft attack operate around you in fact when you burn it in your house or anywhere around because anything you burn on this earth you notice that the smoke is going directly to heaven Heaven, directly to Papa God, you are like attracting divine and supernatural forces to come and help you. So now when you burn this anywhere around your house, your shop, anyhow, you notice that if there are witchcraft, people that have vowed that you will never progress, they will start running away. Before you know it, that person that has been going to do shams and invocation to make sure that you don't progress will pack out instead of you packing out. 
Like I met one woman yesterday who was telling me terrible things he was passing through where she rented shop. And the worst is that the woman that is doing all these things is not even doing the same business with her. But that, that the day she packed in, that woman told her that no person have ever stayed more than four months in this shop. That whether she like it or not, that she give her four months, she will pack out. But as, as, she, as she was talking to me, that she has stayed even more than six months and the woman is shocked. What is her secret? And that this woman succeeded in even killing the neighbor through diabolical means and then break her shop and use it to enlarge her shop. That how did she know this? According to the woman, that where she normally goes to receive a kind of some prayers or something, that it was revealed. And that the woman was friend. That's why be careful of whosoever you call your friend. A man's enemy is those of his own household. The people that are plan your downfall are not people that are strangers. It's people that are close to you, that knows in and out of you. That this, that one that has that one pack into the shop, the woman come and become friend to her. Because there is this other day that say, bring your friends close and your enemies closer. So she draw this person closer in the name of friend, but it was enemy. That it happened that when the woman was booked for a surgery, she went and told her and she did some abracata abracata she did that woman died through the surgery that it didn't even take one mood she break down her shop rented it together and occupy everywhere and how did this woman find out that she brought a new housemaid and this new housemaid was doing well suddenly and that housemaid also helps to sell in her shop this housemaid started misbehaving and then one day the housemaid Pretending that she was very sick and that they would give her drugs, she would throw it away, she don't want to take it. And they were asking her, how can you be sick and you don't want to take drug? Then along the line, they gave the housemaid food and they left, entered the room, him and the husband. And then something touched her to come out. And she came out and she was surprised that the housemaid was carrying one rotten leather like that. And then was pouring the rice that they gave and she was asking the housemaid what are you doing with this that the housemaid was pretending was not saying anything that she, she was like saying that she don't really want to eat this food so she don't want them to feel bad so that that's why they now do that is her when has it become a crime that if you don't eat that previous days they are not eating did anybody do anything to you that apart from that other people can eat it instead of wasting it like this that after all that we know that you are down that somebody that is down may not even have appetite Appetite. And then he now sees something to that that something is strange. From that moment, told the housemaid to leave her house immediately. And then she packed out and sent that housemaid. That after like one week, the housemaid cried and come begging her that she want to come back because where she is, she's very a kind of poor. And then she can't even go to school because the father is late, the mother is managing. Then she started, she knelt down and started begging her and told her. That it was that same woman that told her that nobody stays in this shop more than four months that sent her to bring that rice that she wanted to use it to do sham so as to scatter her business so that she must pack out of that place. And then that the woman promised to take her in when that family has gone down and now that she's frustrated, the woman is not taking her and child, she can't go to school. The woman was shocked. Well, the woman told her that she can't bring her in into her room, but she was going to do one thing for her, that she will start sponsoring her education, but she should remain in her, in her mother's house. So what am I telling you? Men are desperately wicked, looking for who to devour. In addition to your prayers, do some spiritual work because faith with your work is dead. The work is both spiritual and physical. Back your money spiritually. So the next item you need is this Adian fruit. Add, put it and then get your ginger ginger helps to ginger your manifestation make sure that every form of hindrance or obstacle that will make what you are uh, trying to manifest not to come to pass to the path so when you have gotten the three of them then you present it before god and pray very well believe me what god cannot does not exist it's actually god that uses this as point of contact to work for you and that's why when he wanted to deliver the children of israel like he asked moses what is it that you have in your hand it is actually what you have in your hand that god will multiply and god will use to help you and even when jesus was preaching to people in the wilderness a time came he noticed that they are famished the food he gave them did not fall from heaven he asked if anybody had bread 
and, and, and fish here. There was a young lad that had both five loaves of bread and two fishes. He blessed it and it became multitude. And at the end of the day, after they even fed those people, 12 full basket was even remaining. So God will also use pass through this and bring abundance, bring high sales, and destroy whatever evil arrow the enemy has shot at your shop, shot at your life, to be stagnant and to be blocked, to be taken away. So when you have gotten it like this, like see me, like I have three lumps of garlic, uh, ginger like this, and then some quantity of sen leaf and this, and then you boil it inside water like 20 minutes. You do this early in the morning before you talk to anyone, like around four to five or three to five, because that time is when the angels of god goes about trying to share gift so when you boil it inside water that is enough for you to bed then you sieve it out and then allow it to cool down while it is cooling down get your bible and pray asking god for abundance you can actually read into it psalm 126 that when the lord turn again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream. After you must have read first of all Psalm 51, asking God for mercy, and then praying that every of your captivity, low cells, poverty, disappointment, failure, that all of them be taken away, that after this bath, that your life will change. Then when you have prayed fervently, then put your right middle finger and prophesy into that water, then keep it. When you have finished everything you are doing for your morning shots, you are about to go to your shop, you are about to go and uh, face your normal business, get something like spraying can and fetch out some quantity of that water. That particular one you get out, keep it aside. You are going to use it and go to your office, your shop, or anywhere you are doing business. Even if your business is online, that environment you sit before start posting your business you are going to spray that water around there then carry that water if your body is dirty back to your normal bed and then bath that water with your soap with your sponge with your towel in your body and with your creaming allow that water to dry your body even if you have to apply cream wait for the next at least next one hour or two hours so bath area enough so that you have enough time that you will now later rub your cream and go your way by god's grace you notice that low cells will depart you are going to do this bed three days the same item you don't change it second day pour water and do the same item third day pour water and do the same item like i normally used to tell you this that well, we all have guardian angel if your guardian angel is leading you to do it more then you can actually do it even up to seven days using the same item on the last day bring out this item keep it anywhere where it will dry after you have dry burn it make sure that you are burning it outside maybe you put some charcoal where the smoke will go to the universe telling papa god thank you for what he has done for you and then as a burning begin to appreciate god for open door for favor for breakthrough the cycle of any spiritual work is actually 29 days that is from one full new moon to another new moon so within 29 days some people will start experiencing change that very day some people will experience it within three days for the seven day, but within 29 days, you will notice tremendous improvement in your finance, relationship, destiny helpers. A lot of things, doors will open for you. And by God's grace, you will go and enjoy your abundance. So with this, I've actually come to the end of today's video. Believing that somebody has actually found value. If you're one of those, why not give this video a thumbs up? Forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Comment on this video. Share this video and share it to everyone. I shall be helping a lot of people. As to do so, may God bless you. Now you cause you to ride upon the high place of this. Still your lady, Jerry, say,